Good evening, everybody. How are you doing? Hope everybody's having a terrific day. Um, I'm going to say I got a parcel in the mail, like Bev says. Anyhow, uh, package received today. This is from one of my subscribers, Edie Murray. Thank you, Edie. I know what you said you was going to send, but I don't know everything that's in here. Let me take this off so I'll have her address. I'll put that over there. Now these are craft supplies that me and Edie talked about. <laughs> Betty, enjoy. Love Edie. Thank you, Edie. Have no idea what all's in here. I know that they're just craft supplies that we talked about. But she said she was going to throw some other stuff in here too. So I have no idea. These are just assortment of beads and bracelets. Oh, and a couple of charms that I can use on my Tree of Life sun catchers. Some up behind me. One says live, one says laugh. Definitely. There's a little bracelet. That's cute the way it was done. And some beads. Oh, and here's a ring that I can use. It has a charm on it. And it says, oh, it's an M. I don't know anybody that has an M. Yes, I do, Marlene. <laughs> okay, let's go out and see some more. <clears throat> Another assortment of beads. Oh, wow. Nice. 725 piece crafting beads. These are awesome. Got a couple of pins here. They're guardian angels. You can see those. Oh, nice. A whole bunch of bangle bracelets. I can use those for my sun catchers. For the little bead, I mean, uh, things that you can hang from your ceiling. Ceiling, what am I talking about? From your car mirror. Another little bangle bracelet. My daughter would probably like that. Okay. There are some beads. All different kinds. Oh, my mind is going crazy trying to think of what I can do with all this stuff. Here's an assortment of beads. And there's some shell beads in here, too. A lot of beads in here that I can use. That's awesome. Good to have friends that, that does the same thing you do. Whoops. There were some loose ones in that and I didn't know it. And I'll go through the box and get them. Hear them falling? <laughs> there you go. And here's some little bitty beads. And I already know what I'm going to do with these. You all will find out later. And these are, this is one of those, um, you get me as I am videos. I did put a little bit of makeup on so I wouldn't scare you to death. Okay, here is some plastic beads. They're in a medicine bottle. There's 
packages of loose beads. Some that's already, one well, of those are all, I better not pull these out because they'll go all over the place. But they're beads in little individual Ziploc bags, but there's some beads in the bottom that are loose, so I'm not even going to try to take these out. <laughs> Evie, this is like Christmas. <laughs> Christmas in March. Here's some more beads that are strong. She's got those marked necklace. feel like I've hit the jackpot. Some more brangle bracelets. No, these are earrings actually. And <laughs> how's that look? Does that look okay? <laughs> I don't do great big hoops. I do little hoops. Oh wow, nice. All kinds of beads in here. Had to get them unhooked. They were caught on something. Hmm. She's got my mind racing. About what I'm going to do with all this stuff. I definitely can use these. And there's a big old chain that's hooked to something else. There it goes. Hmm. Got my mind going, Edie. Huh. Somebody belonged to the Red Hat Society. But there's a bracelet with charms on it that's got red hats on it. I only know one person that belongs to the Red Hat Society, a girl I went to, used to go to school with. And me and Edie were talking about... Oops. Well, one just hit the floor. <laughs> Did you hear it? Uh, me doing some ornaments for Christmas. Uh, Chris, Christmas craft shows so that will give me something to start on but anyhow Edie I sure appreciate it you've got my mind to go on to what I can do with all this stuff I'm picking up the beads that I dropped here on the table uh, now I'm not going to show you the rest of my table because I have got uh, sun catchers over here I've got sewing projects over here and beads up here uh, I'm making some little assorted little pouches in the sewing machine on, in my bedroom. And over there, I have got stuff ready to make uh, mixed berry jelly. I've got three pints over here that's already done. But I've got some more over there. I'm cleaning out my freezer. And I had a whole bunch of raspberries and strawberries and uh, blackberries in the freezer. So I thawed those out. And I'm going to make continue to make some more mixed berry jelly just to clean out my freezer and uh, I've got a craft show this Saturday somebody <laughs> and I won't tell you who but y'all probably already know but somebody has bought just about all of my inventory thank you all you know who you are um, so I'm having to get busy and make stuff for my craft show for Saturday. But they've cut the hours down for this one. It's uh, the Chili Fest and Craft Show. That the one that I did last year. That I didn't do good at. And they've even cut the hours even more. It's only three hours. What can I do in three hours? Um, so what I get done. I get done. If I'm not going to worry about the rest. And as far as this virus stuff goes. There have. Uh, there, the closest thing that is. Close to me, they've just confirmed three cases in 
uh, a county up next to Cleveland. That's a whole state away from me, but you never know. I'm going to take precautions, and I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I've got another one locally in two weeks, so we'll wait and see how that goes. My fees have already been paid, so... Yeah, depending on how it is, I may or may not do it. I don't know. And the next one after that is May the 2nd, which is very doubtful that I will do because I just heard a prediction say that will be our peak time. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But I can just keep on going. And, you know, if this stuff is gone before December, then we've got our next show after that. Well, depending on how many I'll pick up in the meantime. But... The next scheduled show is the first Saturday of December. That's the one <clears throat> that we usually make our money at. And I say usually. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm home by myself, so I don't have to worry about losing any tissues. But anyhow, I think that's about all I've got to report right now. Oh, no, no, no. There is one thing. Um, an old... Person, not old, as in age-wise. <laughs> uh, a person that I used to watch on YouTube a lot got out of making videos there for a while. But he is back. He's making videos. And it is East Tennessee Prepper. So I just wanted to tell y'all how much I enjoyed him. And he's back to making videos. And y'all go check him out. He's... Had to start his YouTube channel all over again. So he doesn't have a whole lot of subs at this point. But oh, I'm sure he will once people find out that he's back. But he is an awesome guy. He does awesome videos. And he does a lot of research before he reports on stuff. So anything that he does his videos on, you can take as the truth. But anyhow, I'm going to get off of here. And I've got this stuff to continue to... Think about what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I'm just so thrilled. Like I said, it's like Christmas. Thank you so much, Edie. I appreciate you sending this to me. You just don't know how much. It's, it's, my mind is just going crazy because <laughs> I'm just the, thinking about everything that I can do for this with this stuff. And it will help me financially, Edie. Because I don't have to worry about buying a whole lot of stuff now. And this stuff is, is awesome. I appreciate it ever so much. So I'm going to get off of here and get busy. So y'all take care. Stay safe. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Oh, don't forget. Wash your hands. <laughs> we'll talk to y'all later. Y'all take care. Bye.